In part 1 and 2 of this series, we examined through beam and retro reflective sensors, both which are long range photoelectric sensor types. Today we will be looking at their shorter range cousin, the diffused photoelectric sensor. Just like retro reflective sensors, the emitter and receiver for diffuse sensors are located in one housing. The main difference is that diffused sensors use the target to send light back instead of a dedicated prismatic reflector. Unfortunately, not all targets are great reflectors, so only a small amount of the emitted light will make it back to the receiver. This results in a variable detection range. A rubber tire with a reflective index of about 1.5% will need to be closer than aluminum extrusion with a reflective index of 105% to be seen. For diffused proximity sensors, the maximum range is around 300 to 500 millimeters with these Datalogic S100 miniature sensors. Any target within this range will be detected as soon as it reflects enough light back to be seen. On screen are diagrams which show the detection range for the long and short range models. As shown, a gray card with a reflective index of 18% must be twice as close as a white card with a reflective index of 90% to be detected. But what if you need to detect a very small target that may not reflect enough light? Convergent beam diffuse sensors, aka fixed focus sensors, can solve that. In a fixed focus sensor, the transmitter lens and receiver lens are both focused to the same point in space. This point, plus or minus a known distance, is now our sensing window. The sensor will only be able to see targets if they pass through this fixed detection range. Objects outside of it will be ignored. Since all the energy is focused in a concentrated area, instead of being spread out over 500 millimeters, the efficiency increases, but the range decreases. The S100 fixed focus sensor can only see up to 70 millimeters. However, when we check the diagram, we see that the maximum detection range for the gray card and the white card are much closer to each other. The reflective index of the target has less impact on its ability to be detected. Fixed focused and diffused proximity sensors may have short detection ranges, but their single housing design allows them to fit into tiny spaces where reflectors and receivers can't fit. There is a third type of diffused sensor which is capable of background suppression. We will cover that in part 4 of the series. If you are interested in purchasing any of the sensors from this video, please visit the link in the description. And if you'd like to see part 4, don't forget to subscribe to Flexible Assembly and enable alerts. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.